What is up guys, today we have a review of the new update from Apple company which is iOS 18 and now I have here iPhone 12 Pro Max here. So let's check it out, how it works, whether it's worth to update and see what's new. Okay, let's firstly start from the issues here. As I see after I updated it, uh, I have issues with my battery and uh, not an issue actually, but now I have less battery here. So uh, maximum capacity is 77%. Before updating, I've got around 80 plus percent. So I don't know who is degraded my battery or showing the real capacity, but now it shows me 77. So just be careful. And now it's written that it should be common service as fast as possible. Uh, Although, let's check it out, the newest menu updated here, you see how it looks like and it's a bit more more Android look like and a bit more modern and I really like how they divide it, now it's more predictable, you can click uh, on many things here and uh, find out what you're actually searching for. And let's go from the changes. So firstly, Apple finally allow you to customize your appearance. Firstly, you can move currently the icons, whatever you want, whenever you need. And that's not a really big feature, but now it works on Apple, which is something new. Uh, also you have the add widgets, customize and edit pages. Now you have customize here. So what you can do is Android style customization available. So you can make a bit more dark your background and it works well and you can do it finally. You can select the icons small or large. Now it can be like this. Also hello Android. You can make them dark, automatic tint and change the color again hello android so it works more customization is always good so i'm not against it everyone can select whatever they need based on what they like so i did it like this those icons light or if you like dark dark is also okay and that's what kind of customization bring to you so you can select the up look here uh, also, you can have locked and hidden apps. So now you protect, you can protect your apps here using your face ID for, for instance, let's try to set it up. Although as you have this locked and hidden apps here, so what you can do is to protect your app. You can just click on it and you have options like remove app, require face ID, share app and edit home screen. So edit home screen, just start in the edit home screen require face id so you can hide this app uh, and require face id just require face id uh, or cancel that's quite nice to have this feature also in android works for a long time now it works finally in ios next one is a big update to control center so you can add more uh, control options here as you see, you can remove and add controls pretty easily. You can select the text size here, for example, or uh, it can be like this or like that, different ways. Also connectivity can be similar to this one. Low power mode here also can be added and many other features that can be customized and added here. That's quite nice that they finally made it. So also sort by the apps, I guess that one day will support it. Uh, as you see, a nice music already available from Shazam here. So it's nice and uh, people will would like it. Uh, although we have uh, additional control here, which you can, can be modified. You can enlarge it, I guess. No, I guess it's back even. You shouldn't do it like this. You can add additional control here. Uh, this what, what does this mean? I don't know. The bottom doesn't work. <laughs> okay, it's still something to work on it. Let's keep plus. You can add more control. Stopwatch here on additional page. Also enlarge it like this. That is quite nice that you can modify everything plus and add for example k 
camera. Camera is not enlargeable, I guess. Let's try something else. Connectivity, display and brightness, music. So music can be enlarged, full screen app, and you will have like full screen music here. I think third party apps will come soon. So it will be really nice update for here. You can really customize it and add more options here uh, in this control panel. Uh, you can also resize it, of course, and swipe uh, control on lock screen. Also nice to have. And Photos app for, uh, was fully reorganized, but it will not show you as I have many of my photos here. But what you can do, you have now the bigger redesign ever. Browse by helpful topics. Um, it will be like this. Albums, recent day. Also customize photo exactly how you like. You can also make some adjustments for messages as well now all in one play the text i don't really use it but you it will be available for you although schedule message we sent later is available for mails i don't really use it safari now introducing the highlights works only in the us again all the smart features works in the us only Password app working fine. Apple Maps, I don't use, use Google Maps. Game mode, so you can maximize gameplay performance. Wallet, bring iPhone device together to pay privately. Okay, interesting. It's I think majority of those features will not work on my phone. Um, AirPods feature, live audio transcript in notes. Okay, let's try this out. Let's open notes. I will not show my notes, uh, but here we have some features that you can more precisely organize, color it, change uh, the format of the text and even fonts, and this works well. And uh, actually this organization works. I think also this mess is working, same as in MacBook equal to 20 so the formulas working well 10 divided by 5 equal to 2 okay formulas are working well let's type something hi there uh, and select this text here and you can do the formatting i don't know why you can do it here okay and format so math results here available suggest results and search results scan pin lock attachment view and here we have the different styles let's remove it here let's select it okay then you have add link auto fail attach file find selection format so here you can have more formats, increase, decrease here and move it as well as you like. And it works quite well here, although let's move on with some more feature. Advanced voice recording option here. Let's open voice memos. You see now you have the transcripts here available, stereo recording and save as. All right, let's test it out. One, two, three, one, two, three, the voice recording number one for today. And let's see how it will be transcripted. Okay, let's click here. Uh, we have replace. Here we have the transcription in progress. And as you see, it works quite well and it's transcripted quite properly. So works perfectly, although many other changes like a bit redesigned calendar. Some apps redesign a bit. We have the password app. I will not open it, so it will just show my passwords. Measure app. Uh, settings redesign, fitness app, regular, maybe some minor corrections here, notes, weather app, what else we've got, calendar, let's open the calendar, yeah, it's just a bit redesigned, you have this view here, like this, compact view, detailed view, okay, let's keep stacked view, or detailed, both fine, today, how it looks like, also the weekly view here, monthly view, annual view. So quite regular, just some minor updates only. All right, let's open the settings. So basically let's just cover one by one what we can find. So here are the themes here, display zoom. 
large text, default text. I think this one, something new, also available now. Cover just partially what we've got for Wi Fi, redesigned, although ask to join out to hotspot. You have the edit here. Okay, no need. Need face ID for this one. Bluetooth, also redesigned everywhere. Logos. In general, we already covered uh, background app refresh now is here. Also, bit redesigned dictionary, date and time, language and region, uh, control center. So, access within apps or like this, you can allow or uh, disallow it. Camera control, also some main settings here. Uh, home screen and library. Not much changes from that side. Then buy was available in the previous version. Nothing special here. Wallpapers now it looks like you know. All the others, I guess, without any significant changes. Apps now here in one category. Not all the apps in your settings. That is much more convenient, I think, as it was before. And that's how this version looks like. Okay, let's open the camera and check this out what are the changes so here is not minor just some minor changes here nothing spe really special everything is very similar as it was before you can move it this way 65 millimeters 26 millimeters 13 millimeters or just click on uh, up to 12 x now or it was 12 I guess it's for video was 7 and still 7 slow motion also very similar this flashlight camera flashlight indicator a bit redesigned but in general the logic is very similar and you have all those settings as before all right for the review itself that's pretty much it uh, thank you for watching if in case you still have some question put in the comments below put the thumbs up and see you next time